And you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted. Make sure to check out my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to head over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video again today. I'll be going over the remaining promos for the rest of the Madden 20 season. Now, we don't have that many. If we're, if we're looking back at last year, right? If we're looking back at last year, we don't have many left. But we did get some early reveals for Mutt League and some pack animations that do kind of indicate that we will be getting a few more this year than we usually get. Now, guys, we're already in May. Like, the way time has went has been kind of weird. So, because of quarantine, it's really made Madden feel as though it's still in the early stage you guys know what i mean because like the transition from winter spring to summer usually feels more dramatic but because we've been cooped inside of our houses it's kind of just felt like one fluid season so like, usually when it starts getting warm i know madden's kind of dying off but we're already at may 10th if this was last year madden the new madden will be coming out in approximately two months a little bit more actually but slightly two months and madden would be beyond dead now we're still going decently strong because of quarantine but it just feels kind of weird. But the point is that typically we'd only have one more promo left in the Madden season. But there was some hints at some other ones. So I'm going to go over the remaining content we should be expecting for the rest of the Madden season. And guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you aren't new to the channel, make sure you go down below. Comment down below what you guys think of these new promos. And comment if you guys think there'll be any more promos that we should be seeing for the rest of the Madden season that I do not happen to mention on this list. Now let's get into it. So I'm going to go do a brief overview. I'm going to go over to Mudhead, show you guys some screenshots, show you guys some cards, and show you guys potentially what we could be seeing, and then hint a little. Alright guys, so the next promo that we are expecting for Madden 20, that I think will be the next next thing, will be the Positional Heroes. Now this promo should be coming relatively soon. I can't imagine it lasts much, much longer that we don't actually have this promo in game for. I'm expecting probably like a week or so, max. Now the Positional Hero promo is usually really cool, like I said. It's, if you guys have watched other videos, I pretty much briefly mentioned this in other videos. The positional hero, hero is kind of like team of the year, but it kind of covers in a lot of holes in Madden. So let's say team of the year, let's say we got um, whatever wide receiver we're getting. We got Michael Thomas. Now, he was actually in the vault. No, we got, you know, we got Michael Thomas. And now let's say for uh, positional heroes, we haven't gotten a T.Y. Hilton in a while. So they give us T.Y. Hilton. Now we have Michael Thomas and T.Y. Hilton. It pretty much just covers a lot of wide receiver gaps in the game or a lot of positional gaps. So Nick Chubb got a running back one so like let's say right now saquon has one dalvin cook has a new one all these guys have new ones and even nick chubb has one so they'll give it to a guy who hasn't gotten one in a while like let's say a lot of run i mean they've been really good at filling gaps this year guys they really have but let's say zeke zeke only has his 96 that decent easter one and his and his uh he's gonna get his golden ticket obviously people can't afford that so you know what they'll give us a positional hero one that'll be affordable that would make sense russell wilson get a quarterback one he has only has his team of the year or they can give it to another guy it really just depends like an aaron Rodgers. But it really depends on the way they go about this. But position here is super cool. It's just like a, it's like a fill-in. That's why I see it. It just fills in all positions of players that don't have certain cards, which I really like because there could be some really good cards last year. Now, for me last year specifically, Russell Wilson was a really good one. But personally, I think some of the best ones were probably, in my opinion, T.Y. Hilton was actually really good. T.Y. Hilton was good. Jamal Adams was insane. Jalen Ramsey was insane. Tredavious White was really, really good. There was a few good ones, trust me. Like, obviously not everyone's good because they're just kind of like fillers. But they can be very, very good. Now, coming up next, guys. So, I'm going to go over the promos first. Then I'm going to go over some of the uh, recurring promos that we're going to keep getting. And then I'm going to go over the final promo that we could be seeing. So, first, we're going to get the positional heroes. Then, as we move on over to over here, I believe it is right here, the loyalty program. So, the loyalty program is another thing that we're going to get on Madden. So, congrats on your new 99 loyalty master. Keep completing the mud objectives or more rewards. So you guys have been asking a lot in the comments, what is the loyalty program? Now the loyalty program pretty much is a small mini Madden program that gets you some cards for this year, but more importantly, get your stuff for next year. So let's say, so pretty much you use this year's coins to convert into next year coins, technically. So you'll do this Aaron Rodgers set, and if you said, oh, cost you some coins, it cost you some cards. And when you finish it, you'll be guaranteed to get some stuff for next year's Madden. So let's say Aaron Rodgers gets you 10 loyalty tokens for next year's Madden. When you start up next year's Madden, there'll be a set called loyalty set. Now, I could actually I could actually read it off here, but the loyalty set every year is that set that like you get it, you get the new Madden, you look at you like, huh, why can't I do that? And you're always like looking at it, you never know why you can't do it, but you don't you don't really question it. It just is what it is. So looking at it right here, so Mutt Loyalty. So last year, if you had eight loyalty tokens, you can get one Nat Elite Offensive Player, which would've been really good at that. Like imagine first day of the game, getting a Nat Elite Offensive Player. What if you get Hopkins or like Rogers or something? Like that could be fun. Elite Defensive Player. What if you get Aaron Donald or you get Jalen Ramsey? There's a lot of potential here. And even if not guys, it's day one. If you're not a money spender, this could be really useful. So I highly recommend you guys take advantage of the loyalty program, especially those 
who have a lot of coins sitting on their Madden team and they just end up quitting the game and they're done. Go ahead and convert those coins, especially if you're not playing too much anymore. And then there was another one that was trading three loyal tokens or in three knack gold offensive players. I guess that's good if you don't have many left. Same thing with defensive. Turn in one for six nat silver. Turn in one for six nat silver defense. And then turn in one for a 10k quick sell collectible. Now this was not repeatable, but if you have, let's say you have like 15 tokens, you did Fuller and Rogers. Let's say you have 20 tokens. You can get two nat uh, defensive players and you can even get the one 10k quick sell. So you get some coins, you get some of that. And then you can even do the gold one on top of that to fill it in, which will be the remainder of your thing. And that will give you just some players to fill in your team with, or you can put some backups. Or even so, because gold to that point in the game are decently expensive. Guys, the loyalty program is super cool. I've never really participated in it, but I plan to this year just so I can go ahead and get some stuff for next Madden. But moving on, next. So guys, those are the two programs that I expect next, like the next two programs. Now I'm going to go on to some recurring. Obviously, Ultimate Legends will be recurring for the rest of the year. Now, we're already up to 99, so there's nothing special at this point. We're just going to keep getting the same thing back and forth, back and forth. But as you guys can see right here, if we go on over back to that, we're going to be getting a lot of 99s now. We're, we're finally getting up to the banger. So we got Lawrence Taylor yesterday. We finally got Randy Moss. We'll probably be expecting a Vicny in the near future. And then potentially a Deion Sanders. Now those are probably the remaining banger bangers I really want. And everything's going to be filling in like a Herman Moore, a Dick Budkiss, Eddie George. Why do I keep clicking that? Um, right back. Dick LeBeau. We're going to be getting guys like this, like Steve Hutchinson. Uh, we got him, Ienus Williams, Leroy Glover. I don't know if we have an I think we do have Ogden already. No, maybe we don't. Uh Jerome Bettis. Like this is it's gonna get we're gonna get We got like the legends we didn't want, like the Hendrix, which I actually thought was pretty good. The Hendrix, the um ooh, what's that guy? I can't remember that guy from the Eagles that no one likes. But we got all those guys, and then we finally got the bangers. We're getting the bangers now. And then once we're out of time, we're just gonna start filling in with these guys, Tim Browns. Daryl Green, all like good cards, but none of them are like, like actually Daryl Green would be really good, but a lot of these are good cards, but none of them are going to be like bang or bang, because we're going to run out, run around of those, you know, it's LT, Randy Moss, Deion Sanders, those are the big ones, and we're going to be getting the rest, of, we already got two of those, we have one more left on those, we already got our Barry, not Ultimate Legend, but we did get an Easter, which I think probably replaces Ultimate Legend, potentially now, more, more ones that will be going on as a recurring one, is going to be the Golden Tickets, now Golden Tickets guys, as you guys know, Return to this year and the golden tickets will be recurring as well now i don't remember how many exactly we have this moment but this was supposed to go on all the way up until i believe uh, first week of june so this is what we got so far we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so fifteen divided by three is five that is five weeks of golden tickets and that means that we still should have another five weeks so some point in June they will be ending. So we're gonna be having that's another recurring one. We still have to get the Ezekiel Elliott. We still have to get, I believe, our Cam Newton. We still have quite a few things to still get. So don't put anything done with this yet. So so far, this is what we have so far. Golden tickets, good to go. Recurring. Positional heroes, good to go as a new promo. We will be getting a new journey, which I want to go over in a second as well. Loyalty, new promo, ultimate legends as a recurring one now. Uh, we're gonna be getting another journey which should give us the journey master token which should give us the final journey master Which is super cool because we have been waiting for that for quite a while And then finally guys for the last big promo I suspect for Madden 20 is going to be Mutt Blockbuster Now Mutt Leaks did actually go through the files and see that there was a Mutt Blockbuster uh, animation in packs uh, like a pack animation now Mutt Blockbuster is super cool It's kind of like a movie like the whole theme is like a movie like summer blockbuster So that's like going in June July Pretty much like what every whatever guy would be in the movie It's like Odell would be the summer blockbuster He'd be, let's see, since he'd be the manager, he'd be running the show, and 99 speed, 99 catching. Obviously, these cars are going to be ridiculous, like crazy good. Jalen Ramsey, the costume designer, 99 speed. Guys, by the time we're up Blockbuster, these cards would be absolutely ridiculous. Like, they'd all be 99s. At this point in the year, you're kind of just, just screwing around. Like, you're not really taking it too seriously because every card in 99. But Mutt Blockbuster, I haven't got to play this promo in years because when it has been around, I didn't play like that late in the year. And then when it is around, when it wasn't around, I did play that late in the year. So I'm kind of hoping that today we can actually enjoy... Oh, not today. Well, this year we can actually enjoy the Mutt Blockbuster promo. I will be around, obviously, so hoping it comes. We didn't get the Movers promo, which you guys see here. We kind of just got an extended free agency promo, but that pretty much wraps everything up. Let's head back into the Madden screen real quick. Alright guys, that is about it. Here's the loyalty stuff that was still up, but that's about it for the video. That does cover everything. We got some recurring. We got like three. We got like one major promo left. Potentially two with one little promo, such as the loyalty promo. And then we got a few recurring stuff. So we have some decent stuff still coming for the rest of the year. That should pretty much span the rest of the next two months. And then at that point, 
pending quarantine on delay, delay or whatever, we should be done for the year, and that'd be it. We're into Man 21. Super excited. We're still going pretty strong at this point in the year, so I'm super excited, guys. Keep up the support. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys. Come join the family. Give the video a big thumbs up as always, and I'm out. Peace.